What's going on everybody? More Cookies here bringing you another new video. This time we're going to be going over some more aiming drills with Tracer. Uh, Tracer is all about your tracking skills. So the first thing we're going to go over is the main technique that needs to be used while playing Tracer. Which is you need to aim for the neck of the heroes that you're shooting. Do not aim for the head or the chest. Aim for the neck, always. What's going to happen is it'll make about 65 or more percent of your shots hit the head and the rest will hit the body, making your full clip going to the enemy. If you aim at the head, a lot of bullets are going to miss, especially on champion or heroes that don't have such a high hitbox like the bots. So you need to make sure you're aiming for the neck at all times. Always aim for the neck on every hero. I mean, except D.Va because she doesn't really have one. But always aim for the neck on Tracer. It'll make you so much more accurate. And the first thing we're going to be going over after that is just basic tracking. You need to be very, very good at tracking in order to be good at Tracer. So what needs to happen is you want to stand over here at this bot. And you want to just move side to side, back and forth. And try to just keep your mouse stuck to the bot's head. Or neck, I guess I should say. So just try to keep your mouse stuck to the bot. The whole entire time, move back and forth, move forward and backwards, just move in all directions and just keep your mouse on the bot. And the next thing you're going to learn after you get a little more comfortable with that, you can jump around and kind of do it. The next thing is blinking and trying to, because a lot of tracers will go like this, shoot half a clip, blink, and then turn, and then shoot the rest. But what you want to, like a really good tracer will just keep shooting you the whole entire time. I'm a terrible tracer, so I'm not going to do a good job of doing this, but I will still show you guys how to do it, which is basically you are going to shoot and you need to basically, when you blink, you need to learn how far you need to move your mouse to stay on them. So the best way of doing this is rather than shooting, just move like this, blink, and then just try to lock on your mouse onto the target as quickly as possible. So just blink and try to just get your mouse to them as quickly as possible like this. And you just want to keep doing that and get really, really good at it. Basically what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to keep shooting rather than like shooting, blinking, shooting, blinking. It's just everything in synergy, in synergy together all at once. And that's going to make you so much more annoying than any other tracer. So after that, we need to learn how to track up close because we're going to be really, really close to opponents. So what you do is you just follow a bot and just try to keep your mouse on their neck the whole entire time while following them, like this. I, like I said, I'm bad at Tracer. I'm not the best tracker because I mostly play McCree and Widow and Genji, like characters where you don't need to track nearly as much. So I'm not putting a good demonstration of this, but I'm giving you guys the idea of what you need to do. So just follow the bot as close as you can and just keep your mouse on their neck. And another thing about Tracer that I would recommend, like sensitivity wise, if we go back to these bots over here, is when you, so you're standing right here, when you go like this, you should not have to pick up your mouse at all. You should be able to just drag all the way across without lifting your mouse at all. If you have to lift your mouse to keep looking at them, then you probably want to raise your sensitivity a little bit because you want basically the way that Tracer works is when you turn your mouse all the way to the edge of your mouse pad, you want to do a 180. That's like kind of the best sensitivity for Tracer technically. It, all, it also depends on comfort levels and all that stuff, but generally the idea is you flick your mouse to the edge of the mouse pad, you do a 180. Because you're going to need to be blinking and turning and blinking and turning and picking up your mouse too much will really slow you down. So the next thing we're going to go over is just so we did the tracking up close, we did the aim for the neck idea, we did the blink, the, the blinking shooting, and now it's pretty much just learning how to melee really well on Tracer. So Tracer, you're just, I mean, there's no way to really practice meleeing besides just shooting and trying to like blink to the bots and melee them. So that's what I would do. Just kind of shoot at the bots, try to blink towards them and get in melee range and hit them with a melee. And just learn how far away you need to be, boom, like that. Learn how far you need to be from the bot in order to actually reach him with a blink and melee. And you can also just not shoot at all. You can also just blink and hit. So just get as close as you think you need to be, blink and hit. 
and then pick another bot and blink and hit and blink and hit and just keep trying to do that and you'll learn really quickly where you need to be at in order to hit bots and basically what this is going to do is this is what separates an amazing tracer from a, a tracer player is being really good at the melee attacks the melee attacks is what tracer is all about it's about putting a, like a full clip into someone and then finishing them off with the melee attack the melee is so, so strong on Tracer. I would think that melee is the strongest on Tracer, like, in terms of how useful it is on the hero. Like, Genji and Tracer, those are two heroes that just... The melee is so useful, so getting good with it is really key if you want to be a, a, a true Tracer player. So just jump around, blink, melee, blink, melee, and just learn how how to melee and what distance you need to be at and maybe if you blink too far maybe you can learn how to spin around really fast and melee them like that so that's pretty much it for the tracer drills so just aim for the neck uh learn how to track while blinking at the same time because that'll help you a lot learn how to track very close to your target because you're going to be pretty much always very very close to your target and learn your melee distances and pretty much utilizing your melee as much.